All right, here are five things to know to get your day started. Firefighters in Gorham rescued three people from a burning apartment building overnight. The fire chief in Gorham says that the call came in about 1030 last night for a fire on Narragansett Street. Three people ended up getting rescued, two taken to the hospital, one in critical condition. The fire marshal is investigating, but the chief did say it appears it was an accidental cooking fire. The landlord is putting tenants up at a local hotel for now. Again, this just happened recently, so we'll keep you updated throughout the day on air and online as we learn more. A man from Maine is in custody in Georgia facing domestic terrorism charges. Officials say Colin Dorsey was part of a violent group protesting a public safety training center near Atlanta. Police say Dorsey and the group uh, threw large rocks, bricks, Molotov cocktails and fireworks at the construction site and at police officers. So far, 35 people have been arrested. The state of Maine, one of several states getting dozens of new agents to patrol its border with Canada. 25 Border Patrol agents have been added to the frontier between New England and Quebec. This move is in response to an uptick in illegal crossings at that stretch of the border. New federal estimates report that 1,500 people have crossed illegally from Quebec into Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire. That was at the end of 2022. It's a jump from just 160 people, which was the year before. City leaders in Lewiston are once again considering turning the site of an old school building into affordable housing. The plan focuses on Martell Elementary School, which closed in 2019. The city is considering selling the property to Lewiston Housing, which would convert it into 44 affordable housing units for seniors. During a meeting last night, counselors voiced their support for the project, but also concern about how long it might take. The council is expected to take up the issue again next month once Lewiston Housing has a better idea of the timeline for the project and the town of Bar Harbor is joining cities and towns all around Maine in banning the sale of flavored tobacco. According to the group Flavors Hook Kids, the town council made that decision last night. Four cities have already banned flavored tobacco in our state. That includes Portland, South Portland, Brunswick and Bangor. There is an effort to ban those products at the state level as well, but a bill in Augusta is still in its very early stages. That ban in Bar Harbor will take effect on the 1st of June. Final check of the weather, sir. All right, yeah, it seems like there's a lot going on as we uh, head into the weekend across the state, all kinds of stuff. So weather is going to cooperate, which is really, really nice. Now it's going to be a slightly unsettled today and tomorrow. And when I say unsettled, there may be a sprinkle or a flurry, but it's just not going to be that sunny. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to struggle in that department. Our temperatures will be in the lower 40s. Friday, that's when we finally break back into bright sun. Looks really nice. Highs in the mid 40s. And any time of the year, any time you get sun this time of the year, it feels so much warmer than that 44. So that'll be real good. And then over the weekend, Saturday storm is a miss. Uh, we do s go ahead with an hour there on uh, fr Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, so we lose an hour of sleep, and uh, Sunday looks pretty good too. Next storm chance would be Monday night into Tuesday. Friday and Sunday. I mean, yeah, Friday and Sunday look really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. I mean, there's really not much to talk about in the weather world right now. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's, tar it's hard to not have something to talk about. It's hard to, like, put that into words sometimes. Don't feel too badly about I, it and put that out into the universe, please. Yeah, I know. I don't want to upset the apple cart or anything. Just here. don't forget, on Sunday when it was, like, 44, it felt like it was 75. So I'll take those mid-40s. Thank yeah, you, sir. Be good. We're going to leave you with some sights and sounds from Carnival, which is getting ready to kick off in Portland's Old Port I this week. So go check it out. Have a great day. Eye. CDs from my childhood that passed me by With nothing but sky and the wind in my hair It just takes me back there But when I remember the day we first met The look in your eyes when you turned your head